Hey guys, so this is um, the first Sigma Cool prototype. Uh, this is the one with a few, a few more revisions here. I get, get, just getting the etching right uh, will be the one that you'll uh, be getting for the GT, for the GTX 580, 570, uh, and 480, and uh, it should work with the 680 since the GF 110 mounting arrangement is identical to the GF 110 uh, arrangement. So uh, as you can see here, this this etch isn't really clean, but that's uh, Sigma Cool logo with you know, the CH Mod Labs logo. There's the cooler itself. And uh, those are the, right there, that's one of the metal oxide coated um, mounting screws. And uh, over here, the, you can see a bit of the etch there, right there. And uh, this entire side over here is actually uh, etched down to fit into that piping. So see, there's that etched portion there. And uh, you can see the screws kind of protrude right down in. And those just protrude right through the PCB through the mounting holes. And this does work with the uh, conventional heat spreader. As you can see if I go over here. You can see that notch there, which is really the only thing you have to be above. We're about a millimeter above that right now. Uh, so th it clears the entire heat spreader. Uh, I'm not sure about heat spreaders and other, um, other models. But uh, for now it looks like it's working really well. Uh, so now I'm going to show you guys the back plate. Take the card and turn it over here. Maybe that rad doesn't slam that, right? So this is uh, the back plate. This is pretty unique uh, in terms of a lot of the VGA mounts you'll see. Um, at least with for the cooler mounts that are all custom made. So this is like completely non-conductive. It really spreads the forces out. And uh, this is, as of now, only for GF110 mounts. As I said, once I, uh, I have friends who have um, you know GTX 460s, 550 Ti's, 560 Ti's. So uh, once I really get a good look at those, I'll be, I'll be able to also produce backplates for the reference models there. Um, other in uh, for models like the 7970 and other uh, future revisions of this mount that'll be used for cards like that, um, there will be basic um, kind of spacers for the back with eventual backplates on the way. So that's the backplate, uh, the top mount right here and this rat is really close wow um yeah so there's that and uh yeah that's the uh ch mod labs sigma cool for the gtx 580 680 570 and 480. all right guys so as of now uh, i have the uh, sigma cool uh, and the gtx 580 installed in my system and uh, i'm going to show you uh, how it's working here so i'm going to get low here and uh, you can see the Sigma Cool is indeed installed. The stock fan is still going, cool in the VRM. And uh, I, I do recommend an afterburner, setting that to run at about 50%, um, because if you just let it go on auto, since it thinks the card is basically idling even when it's on at full load, um, you can partially damage some uh, parts. I mean, you won't damage anything, but just to prolong the life of the card, it's good to have that run. And that, that fan's basically silent with no shroud. So that's that. You can see it's uh, the power connectors are plugged in. And uh, you can see the cooler is there. And the rad, I just have set up in the front here, pulling air in uh, from the front. So it's nice, cool air. Uh, and then I have one big exhaust fan in the top. So again, there's the 580 with the Sigma Cool uh, 580 edition. But that also works on the 680, 480, and 570 cards. There is a cooler itself with my mount, the stock IHS cooler, and the rad up in the front. It works great, and uh, in just a bit I'll be showing you guys some uh, gameplay and benchmarks uh, with this cooler.